Hello and welcome. I am Ollie Juno and this is my crafty corner. Um, today we're doing a quick stitch with me. I'm not sure how long it's going to last. Um, I'm just going to kind of give an update because I will most likely not be having a floss tube tomorrow. Um, I'll get into that here in just a few minutes. Um, if you are new here, thank you for coming in. I appreciate you. Um, um, if you are a returning viewer, thank you. Um, I appreciate y'all very much. Um, I'm just saying um a lot. I apologize as I continue to say um. Let me make sure I keep my fingers out of the way. Um, all right, so I know in my floss tube I stated we weren't going to be able to buy a house anymore as we were going to try. Um, turns out we're also not going to be able to find somewhere to rent. Um, the la we've put in a few applications and for some reason they just keep denying us and I have to either stay like put in my paper saying that I'm staying or that I'm leaving and I have to I have to be out of this house in less than 60 days and I don't want to take the chance that I don't find a place and have nowhere to live in uh, 60 days from now so we are just going to go ahead and stay here and we're going to go ahead and um, continue to work on building our credit up and hopefully you know even though they did raise our rent here and we have no can barely ever throw trash away because the trash bins are always overloaded but we're gonna make the best of our situation which is about all you can do so um, we are currently in the process of rearranging the house because um, um, we're moving my oldest daughter has been staying in the same room with my son but that's just not working anymore because um, it started out that's the way they wanted to do it because they don't like being alone but my son is turning 15 this year and him and his sister are just butting heads real bad so I am going to be splitting my office with my son so my my computer and stuff is going to be in his bedroom so and that way they are separated which I've done that before. It's not that big of a deal. 90% of the time he's at school. So, shouldn't affect anything. To do. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Um, I don't have the face cam on today like normal. Um, mainly because the I haven't moved my desk into the new room yet and my view behind me is destroyed and I just didn't want to I didn't want it in the video um, I didn't uh, like I said I had a few I had some time before the end of the night it is 830 at night so I figured I'd go ahead and get my video uh, posted today um, I'm not doing the floss tip tomorrow. Basically, I mean, I did my last floss tube on Thursday, I believe. Last week? Or was it Friday? I don't remember what day I did my floss tube. I just know it was pretty close to the end of the week. And I really haven't gotten a lot of progress done um, I worked a little bit on this on Sunday I did 
I am... I worked on my two dragons on Sunday and I've been working on my dream catcher. Those are the only thing I've worked on here recently. Um, I know um, everybody's been talking about, you know, with this being the month of May, we have, you know, all the May mania type things. We've got people who are starting things every day of the week, every week type thing. That is not going to be me. Um, I do have two new starts planned. Um, so I may do um, a little haul video towards the end of the week if they come in like they're supposed to. Um, depends on when they get here. I'm not going to do the video until everything I ordered shows up. Um, I know I had been talking about the new starts. I don't think I've shown anything. No, I said I was going to show everything when I got them. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to start them this month. Because I think I'm trying, my goal is to try stitching on this particular project all month long. To see, um, I would love to get all the way across to the end of this page. Because I have, let's see, I have a page, a little over a page and a half. Because this is the, this right here is the end of this page. So once I finish this next di diagonal, this page will be done and then I'll have a page and a half left. Oops. So, um... I want to see how much I can get stitched on this this month. So, um, not really sure. I know I'm getting my new items in. I might end up starting them, but I, I'm going to try to hold off and start those in June. Or, yeah. I'm going to try to start those in June. But we all know how new starts go. You just get that fever and you just gotta start them. And I might get tired of this one because it is a lot of very similar colors. Um, basically right now I'm working black, brown, and gray. Because this is just the kitten's forehead. And that's why I've started doing it in uh, 10, uh, 20 by uh, 20 di wide diagonals because it's 10 by 10 I just never felt like I was getting anywhere 20 by 20 I feel like I get a good amount of, the, the 20 diagonals I feel like I'm getting a good amount of stitching in Um, yeah, so that's my May plans. Um, that's my woes with moving, so I will not be moving, but technically we are moving because we are rearranging the house. So, um, what used to be my daughter's room is now becoming mine and my husband's room. And what used to be my office is now becoming my oldest kid's room. And my son's room is now becoming mine and his, you know, his bedroom, my office. Or my computer room. I haven't decided. I may end up putting my office desk downstairs in the living room somewhere. 
I haven't quite decided yet. Because the only thing I'm worried about is with summertime coming, he's going to be in the room. And he, you know, I don't like trying to, like, make him wear his headsets all the time. Plus, he gets to the point where he doesn't quite realize that he's humming along to his his songs when he's got his headset on. So... And I feel bad at trying to make him uh, wear headsets in his own room. Now, I will agree, there will be times where I will, just because I'm trying to do something and I don't want his volume to interfere with things, like when I stream or whatnot, but... Yeah. Um... So, I'm really looking forward to getting a good chunk done on this project. I know in um, a couple of my discords, uh, in one of my discord groups, they're doing a couple of challenges, um, like the stitching and getting 15,000 stitches in a in month. Um, as of right now, that is not an achievable goal because <laughs> I've not stitched all that much in the last couple of weeks. Um, let's see, I think I stitched a thousand stitches last week, um, maybe. So far this week, I've stitched eight. 600 yeah I've only stitched about 600 st stitches this week all right all right or am I missing something no oh. Yeah, I was in the wrong spot. Luckily, I counted myself. Um, but, yeah. Um, news on my uncle. Um, he's doing okay with his foot. His foot is healing really well. Um, but he has been diagnosed um, with double pneumonia at the moment. So, um, right now we're just trying, you know, he's on a ventilator, their oxygen. So they're just trying to keep his oxygen levels at the right level right now. So it's still kind of hit or miss on how he's doing. Um, since they've got him diagnosed with it, you know, I haven't heard a whole lot more on it. Um, basically, it's just the weight game to see how he, if he can get, you know, how he's doing. Um, to my giveaway winners, I apologize. I have not got the bag sent out yet. Um, I will, oops, I will get everything put together this week and I will try to have them in the mailbox by Thursday. I can't do it tomorrow because I do, I'm in the office. I was in the office today and I'm in the office tomorrow. And by the time I make it back home, after I get off work, the, off, the post office is closed. So I, uh, I work from home on Thursday. So I will try to get everything shipped out on Thursday to everybody. Um, I apologize. It's been way too long since y'all have won the giveaway. Um, so I will definitely work on getting that out. I just wanted to give it, you an update on, you know, the fact that I have not got them sent out yet. Which, I told you I'd send you an email, um, a reply once I did. So hopefully you haven't actually been waiting. 
Hi, Simon. I got a Simon on my shoulders. Do not scratch me. What are you doing? Sorry, I have a Simon walking across me. I would show him, but like I said, I don't want to show the rest of my horrible mess of a room. Um, What is going on with that? Give me just a minute. I've got this area right here. It's not wanting to let me do it. Oh, do I have one of my mini ne needles somewhere? I need my petite needle. Give me just a second. It's over here. Run your way. There it is. Give me, give me, give me. Oop. Move that. Give me just a second. I gotta get this threaded. Try that again. There we go. There we go. And come up. We're going to go down the center right here. There we go. Now oh, it's done. I'm parked. There we go. And there we go. See, all this color here is black. 90% of this is the brown. And then we get in a little more black down here. All right. I'll go a little bit longer. Um, like I said, it's almost nine o'clock. I'm gonna have to start getting ready for bed because I have to get up a lot earlier than normal tomorrow because I have to go into the office. Um, I'm probably going to make, um, once we get everything moved and rearranged, I'm probably going to work on making a couple more bags, um, just to have a couple, um, so I'll show everybody what they look like, um, once I get them completed. They'll be of the same material of the giveaway bags because like I said I had a ton of that um, but the interior will be a different color um, instead of the yellow I will have a different interior color possibly a blue um, I have uh, I've had to give up some of my tension things like I've for holding the tension on my scroll frames I've been using uh, hold on. 
I've been using these to hold my tension, but my kitten has become obsessed with them. And she loves to chew them in half. So that makes them not work for me anymore. And she always seems to find them when I forget, like, they, she doesn't normally mess with them when they're on the project. It's when I don't have them on the project. So, like, if I move the frame or something like that and then forget to uh, clamp it back, she will take it. She'll steal it. So, I decided to make my own tension straps. Like these. They're not good. They're just per homemade personal ones. I bought the clamps, I bought the cord, and I bought clips. Hold, um, I'm moving the camera. Let's see, I have them on the sides of my fabric. It's not straight. There we go. Um, so yeah, I've uh, I'm making my own tensioner clamps. Um, and they're working pretty well. And uh, she's ha she has no interest in them because they are not rubber. She does not want to chew on, like, I tried to give her a cord of it just to see if, I, if she wanted it. She don't want nothing to do with it. So, we will see if I can keep these up. Plus, I kind of like the tension on these just a little better. Because they actually grab the fabric and don't let loose. The magnets are good, but they, they tend to slide and slip sometimes. So, um, the, it, I really like the way the clamps actually grip the fabric and hold on to it. Really does seem to help the tension in my opinion. Oop, that is not where I needed to go. Um, whatever angle I've angled this isn't the same as before, so my fingers are getting in the way. Um, it's funny, in the camera, that's coming up blue. The, the, my nail color is purple with green specks. <laughs> Alright, sorry. Um, Um, what was I just saying? Oh, the tension on the scroll frame. Um, so yeah, um, I did get more scroll frames as well. Um, mainly because I'm going to be starting two more projects. So I wanted a frame. I wanted to be able to put them on frames. Because I, I really don't like not having my projects on a frame. Um, and I just, I like scroll frames. They just, I like them way better than hoops or Q-snaps. Um, I just, I like seeing more of my project, I think is the biggest part of it. Is I like being able to see all the way across on what I'm working on instead of just small sections. It really makes a difference to me. All right, I'm gonna finish this row and then I'm gonna have to call it because that makes it nine o'clock. And for one, my daughter will be calling me because she's getting off work. And then as soon as she gets here, we've got a little more rearranging to do. Um, 
to get it to where she has a place to sleep tonight because we took her bedroom we got all our stuff moved well half of our stuff moved in enough for us to get settled for the night and then we need to move her bed downstairs and the ferrets because um, they are not staying in there with me I love the ferrets but I will not sleep with them if I don't have to because they kind of stink no matter what we do alrighty um, that actually ended up in a very bad angle That ended up very bad, so we're just gonna do this. Yes, I make mistakes, and then I just fudge, fudge, fudge them, and continue. All right, that is that. I put a hundred stitches in, and it has been twenty-six minutes. So that's not too bad. Um, So uh, I know this is just a short little stitch with me, but I just kind of wanted to give an update on where things are going um, and that there will not be a floss tube tomorrow and I will try to have, um, I'll try to have another stitch with me at the end of the week um, with haul um, as long as everything shows up. If everything does, if, not, if it doesn't all show up, then I won't be doing any kind of haul deal, but if it all does show up, then I'll do a haul and a stitch with me. Um, will most likely be this project because like I said, I'm focusing on this piece for now. Um, so we'll see how it goes towards the end of the month. <laughs> all right. I hope everybody enjoyed the stitch with me today. Um, and I hope to, uh, if you like the uh, words, I hope if you enjoyed the video, you like and subscribe, and uh, see you next time. Happy stitching. Bye.